This show is brought to you by Millennium Tree Stands, Extreme Archery Products, and Ramcat Broadheads. Welcome to ToxicGivens.com. In this webisode, I'm going to talk about how to make a homemade, uh, what they call a lamp controller. Now, before we get into lamp controller, let's talk about the cameras. Now, in, a pre in the last webisode, I talked about my new Canon camera that I had. And it's really what we call a prosumer camera. And what I mean by prosumer camera is in between like a regular everyday consumer line, which would be like $300, $400. And it's in, in, in the upper line, which would be a professional version, which you normally run $2,500, $3,000. So my camera came out to be about $700, $900 in between there, and they call it a prosumer. You know, professional, consumer, a little play on the words. Now, it works great for what we're doing, but it has some features that are lacking, and it has some modern features. It has more features than a consumer, but it doesn't have as many features as a professional one. So that's where the prosumer name comes. And one of the things it doesn't have is what they call a lamp controller. Now, a lamp controller, I'm showing you some photos of this. Is a lamp controller is a device, is a device that you have on your arm, um, ha have on your swing arm of your tripod, or I guess your swing handle on your tripod or like on your camera arm. And what it does, it connects into your camera. And it allows you to control the camera, all the features on the camera, the most common ones you need from that remote control. So if you're deer hunting or turkey hunting, you can be moving the camera arm around without having to use two hands, you know, stuff like that. Especially in a tree stand when you've got a camera arm, you, you, you can just ease up there and move it around like this and, and zoom in, zoom out, push, record, and stuff like that which is really nice instead of having to reach all the way up there and have this big arm moving in the free space where the deer or the turkey might see you. Now, um, why would you want to make one? Well, just like I said, to be more stealthy. And um, so I made one and I'm gonna show you some photos. I didn't video it, I, I'd rather take photos. So basically, um, and you can make one too. So basically, I've got a basic Canon um, remote control that comes with the camera. Now, Sony has remotes, Canon's had remotes, um, Panasonic has remotes, all of them have remotes. And those remotes can, ch can um, control the camera. Now, look at this photo here. If you notice, the infrared is in the front of the camera. So, if you're sitting up, look, if you're sitting up in the tree stand or on the, on the tripod, the, the sensor is in front of the camera. So, you doing the control from behind is not really going to work. So, what we do is we go out and we buy this fiber optic cable. It's called a TOS link cable, okay? Now I've got this modified into the, into the remote, but what's called a TOS link and it's got ends like this. And basically what it does is it takes that infrared signal that comes, that comes from the remote, as you can see here, and it shoots it in there and it's, it's got an end like this. And then it comes all the way back around and you can put this in front of your camera which the camera can then read the you know pick up the infrared signal from the remote now look at this picture here this is how I have it set up for my tripod and basically I have a velcro I have a I have a velcro strap and I strap it to the handle and then I've built this plate you know I just cut out a piece of a piece of aluminum and then I looked around for something that would plug into this to this toss link connector luckily I had a a highlighter and it actually just fits in just perfect you can hear it snap and all that and so I played I played around with it and figured out where that needed to be in front of my camera and I put me a hole in there and now I can put it in there and you can see in this picture here how it mounts to this camera and um, so now I can put this into my tripod I also can put this into my camera arm and here's what I mean not my camera arm my yeah my camera arm my tree arm that i use in the tree stands you can see a picture of this this is how it looks in there and what's that allowed me to do it allows me to zoom in and zoom out like it was a professional lamp um 
I can, basically the two functions I care about zooming in zooming out and also the record button and record off now you can't turn the camera on so you have to reach up there and you have to turn the camera on but once it's on you can use it off on the remote now my camera actually has a lamp control you can buy but my accessory shoe only has one slot and plus the things like $275 and which you know almost half what my camera costs so um, I'd rather have the boom mic I'd rather have the boom mic than the LAN controller, so this is where I came up with the idea to make this one. And it works really well. I, I had the same setup on my old camera that I used before I bought this one. So I just had to go out and buy the new stuff and make this one for this one. This one's a little bit trickier because I can't use the hood. The infrared is a little bit more, um, the receiver is a little bit more tucked back. So I had to play around with this plate in order to get it to where it would transmit and receive. So... I think that covers it all. I showed you enough photos and I showed you some video. Now, um, like us on Facebook, like, you know, subscribe to us on YouTube. Hey, tell me what you thought of this webisode. Uh, I, I was questionable whether I wanted to do it or not, but then I was like, well, there might be a few people out there trying to video their own hunts. And I said, hey, they might, they might like this. This might actually help them. I think it's pretty cool. You don't see a lot of stuff on the internet about how to do this. And I think it's really neat. It's just something I figured out that helps me make our videos a little bit better. Um, so send me some feedback. Like us on Facebook. Like us on YouTube. And stay tuned. We're going to be bringing you more webisodes. We're getting ready to go hunting this weekend. Um, and just stay tuned. And enjoy the Hunt365.tv network. And thanks for watching ToxicGivens.com. If you like this show, check out our other shows at Hunt365.tv.